Welcome to Crane Talk, presented by Link Belt Cranes, where we will focus on the people, places, and parts that truly make the difference. Today we travel to Rushville, Indiana, where Smith Erectors has two Link Belt Cranes, the ATC3275 and the TCC2500. Both cranes are completing steel work and lifting roof panels for a new 700,000 square foot manufacturing and distribution center. Jason Moore with Smith Erectors out of Marco, Indiana. Lamont Johnson, crane operator uh, for about 17, 18 years. So we're in Rushville, Indiana, and we are building a dog food plant here. It's gonna be the Northeast Distribution Center. So we have the 2500 on site, and we also have our 275 on site, and we set all the major structure, steel structure. We are doing insulated metal wall panels, on these walls, and then we're doing insulated metal panels on the roof as well. Oh, it's very easy. It holds its configuration, so you don't have any problem with trying to go through there and reconfigure. Basically, I just start it up and let it run through its uh, system check, and then push on the paddle and it'll start extending. You can program that computer so when you are setting a crane up and building the crane, the operator knows his limits on what he's doing, you know, because when you're on those jacks, you know, you got all that 156,000 pounds on four square feet. You got to have that on there. And what's different about this crane than a 275 is, is this is a crawler crane, obviously, but he can move up and down this wall that's 600 foot long. And when he's reaching out there 280 feet uh, with these insulated metal panels, it makes it really nice for him to be able to go back and forth up and down the side of the wall here. So the boom lake's a really big factor being 220 four feet I think somewhere right in there and we do have a jib extension in it and then we have the main jib that comes with the crane uh, so we've got 97 feet of jib out so that makes it really nice as well. I have uh, three bundles up there so I just I can use that meter to tell me exactly where that bundle was when I started so I can go right back it's, it's pretty good I like it. Swing is smooth I can't find a complaint. I will say one thing, this crane is a beast. I mean, it's a beast because for a 250 ton crawler, hydraulic boom, which crane guys will respect this, when you can lay a 223 foot of boom down on the ground, that's pretty impressive. I mean, that is really impressive. 2500, what we did is the bays are 60 foot wide, so the guys built the, the structures in on the concrete, and then we picked up the mega structures from inside with the 2500 and our 275. And those weigh probably right at 60,000. Crane mats as well but this crane will go up on the concrete pad and be able to track inside the concrete pad. Once he reaches 260 foot radius, we've left the bay out in the building and the crane will go inside, track in that bay and come back 280 feet and roof that section of roof and then continue on. The things that surprised me about it is, is this power. Before we put the jib in it, we were picking stuff a little bit heavy and it, it never even bogged down or anything. I think this is probably the best model I've been on. Stay tuned for more stories on the next Crane Talk.